some things dawned on me, like the sun started coming up. And the more you talked, the further up the sun came and the brighter got the images and the imagination. Helping people to see, that's one of the greatest gifts. Words are so powerful if they're framed right, if they're sent with sincerity. Words that create images, words that express life, words that express experiences, words that express gifts of ideas that you've got to share. See, that's, that's some of the greatest gifts you can bestow. And here's the best place to start with your children. See if you can't inspire with your own language a better sense of the importance of the day, a better sense of the importance of doing the work, a better sense of the importance of getting good grades, developing yourself, becoming who you'd like to become. Do the disciplines now that'll give you the joy later. Teaching is one of the greatest senses of accomplishment in the world. Helping somebody learn, helping somebody take early steps in a new career. Early steps as an entrepreneur. Showing somebody the way. The gift of words, the gift of language. Here's what the old prophet said. Words are like a lamp for your feet. So you can see where to walk. That's a gift. Words are like a lamp for your feet. So you can see where to walk. And then he said, words are also like a light for your pathway. So you can see where to go. If somebody with the gift of language and words can help you to walk where you should walk and then show you a pathway to go, they do you immeasurable service. Who can calculate the value and the worth of that kind of exercise? Showing somebody the steps to take and showing somebody the way to go that would be helpful. Whether it's a way of good health, whether it's a way of a better relationship, whether it's a way of an entrepreneur, a refinement of career, doesn't matter what it is. If we know the steps and somebody reveals to us the way, see, they do us by their own language some of the greatest gifts we ever enjoy. Words, language. So let's now talk about good communication.